And if it is, why do you think that's happened? Yeah, so yeah, I know this was this made the press recently because, or um, when last year because of you know declining testosterone rates. Right. I think I, I don't disagree with it, um, but I think there's two things going on. Number one, we're checking testosterone levels uh, at a younger age and more commonly. So the frequency of testosterone testing um, has gone up. So as a result of that, you're going to catch more. You get, you're going to diagnose. You're going to diagnose low testosterone more as a result of it. Number one. Number two. I think our lifestyle, as we become more uh, sedentary, has become more you know, office jobs, desk jobs, spending more time indoors, not doing the things that are important to, to, to uh, normalizing testosterone levels, getting outside, vitamin D levels, um, getting good sleep. I think with the constant blue lights everywhere, um, with phones and TVs, Netflix, everyone's, you know, you're constantly being stimulated. Our sleep is getting disrupted as a result of it. Food, we're eating more and more processed foods just because of the ease and convenience of, of, um, of things. So, you know, maintaining normal testosterone levels aren't difficult, but, you know, our current lifestyle just, it doesn't promote normal, yeah. healthy testosterone levels.